Jazz, thanks for joining us. If you have a question for Jazz, please use the raise hand function. All right, let's go right back to Brendan Marks. Go ahead, Brendan. Hey, Chaz. Uh, Mac had mentioned, you know, this was, he thought, as good as any quarterback he's seen play, Ian Book, tonight. And he noted how hard it was for you guys to actually bring him down despite having so much pressure on him, having so many people around him. What was it about him that made it so tough to bring down tonight? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. He uh, extends the plays. Um, I got to him a few times. He was able to throw the ball away or make a crazy pass and was able to complete some third downs. Um, so that was big uh, for them. But I mean, I mean, just got to go out, go out there and, you know, play hard and try to, you know, wrap up and get to them and cover the guys so they can't, you know, you know, extend plays. I mean, for our own guys, I think we, we stopped some of those. So, I mean, I, I don't know. He played, he played well when he, in spot. So, I mean, shout out to them. You, and you mentioned that crazy pass. You were so close to him on that play. What did you see from your, from your vantage point? Uh, I was just really keen on him. Um, we knew he, you know, on third down, he likes to, you know, scramble and make plays. So my job was, you know, try to contain him and uh, go get him, really. Um, and he, he was able to, you know, convert on some downs like that. Thank you. Okay, next question comes from Greg Barnes. Hey, Chaz. The defense got stops, I think, on six of Notre Dame's 11 possessions. Defense has been up and down at times this year. What do you think the defense did well tonight? And kind of what was the what was the mindset coming out of that Wake Forest game? Uh, yeah, I think we want, after the Wake Forest game, uh, I, I, we definitely want to have a better performance uh, going into this week. We had two weeks to prepare. And then I think just uh, I think our coaching staff did a good job um, running people in and out, out, in and out based on their uh, different personnel, whether it's 11, 12, 13 running defensive, you know, um, different defensive linemen out. I think the young guys stepped up and, you know, made it hard for them up front. So shout out to them. Uh, we were able to get stops at times. Um, so definitely, a, 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 you know, looking forward uh, to the rest of the season, how those guys uh, keep getting better um, up front. So, yeah, I think that was just really the, the best, you know, thing to take away from the game. Thank you. Okay, let's go to Mike Toper. Hey, Chaz, there was a couple of spots during the game when you guys are playing some solid defense and then there's a penalty, you know, holding pass interference from as a linebacker and on defense. How frustrating is that to, to kind of give them another opportunity there? I think it was nine penalties today, not all on the defense, but. Yeah, um, definitely. I mean, that hurts um, those when we got guys covered um, and we make a, you know, a, a holding or pass interference. Something like that. Yeah, I mean, it, it is it is a blow because you know third down is the key down. I think it was on downs that we needed to get off the field and we weren't able to. So, I mean, I, we just got to play smarter, uh, be more disciplined, uh, and trying to make you know don't don't give them those freebies because I think for in coverage on some of those, I mean, we were in good coverage, but we ended up you know you know doing something like that and uh, them throwing a penalty and that you know hurt us. And they were able to extend drives. Okay, Chess, that's all we got for you tonight. Thank you. Thank you.